Clive Barker's Nightbreed is a 1990 dark fantasy horror film based on his 1988 novella Cabal. He originally envisioned the trilogy of films. Barker was interested in creating a horror mythology from the ground up and developing characters that would live on in sequels. Nightbreed was the first of a planned three-picture deal Barker had made with Morgan Creek. Unfortunately, the original intent of the film was compromised by the studio and a poor marketing campaign misrepresented the film and subsequently hurt its box office substantially, and any planned sequels fell by the wayside. At the time of its release, Nightbreed was a commercial and critical failure. In several interviews, Clive Barker protested that the film company tried to sell it as a standard slasher film, and that the powers that be had no real working knowledge of Nightbreed's story. However, since its initial theatrical release, Nightbreed has achieved cult status. Barker expressed disappointment with the final cut approved by the studio and always longed for Nightbreed to be re-edited and restored to its original vision. Finally, in 2014, Scream Factory released the director's cut of Nightbreed. Mad About Superheroes presents Retro Review, Nightbreed, the director's cut. An unstable mental patient, Aaron Boone, is falsely led to believe by his doctor, Philip K. Decker, that he is a serial killer. Manipulated by Decker, the police track and gun down Boone outside an abandoned cemetery called Midian. Previously bitten by Peliquin, one of Midian's many monstrous inhabitants, Boone is suddenly resurrected. He soon finds himself seeking refuge among the tribe of monsters and outcasts known as the Nightbreed in an attempt to hide from humanity. Boone's grieving girlfriend, Lori, retraces the events of his demise, leading her to Midian. With Decker hot on her heels, Boone reveals himself to be undead. After a brief tussle with Decker, Boone and Lori are reunited. However, their reunion is anything but sweet as the underground society of Midian is exposed, with the aid of Decker, to a small town police captain who plans to exterminate Midian's monstrous inhabitants, with a brigade of trigger happy police officers in tow. A prophecy is soon revealed involving Boone as Midian's savior. Lori, I didn't believe the prophecies. It's all over. What prophecies? You want to see? <laughs> That's Boom. Yes, it's him. All these years waiting for a savior. Nightbreed essentially flips the script and turns the monsters of Midian into sympathetic characters, which in my opinion is a welcome change of pace. The creature effects are expertly executed, further enhanced by the actors underneath the makeup. With a well-cast ensemble, Nightbreed stars Craig Sheffer as Aaron Boone, Ann Bobby as Laurie Winston, and Hellraiser's pinhead himself, Doug Bradley as Liesberg, to name a few. Along with personal favorites, Oliver Parker as Peliquin. We eat him, we break the law. It's true. Everything's true. God's an astronaut. Oz is over the rainbow. Midians where the monsters live and director David Cronenberg as Dr. Philip K. Decker. Some may know Cronenberg from directing classic body horror flicks 
such as Videodrome and the 1986 remake of The Fly. The score was composed by Danny Elfman and conducted by Shirley Walker, who also wrote the additional cue, Charge of the Berserkers, for the film's climax. Elfman rose to superstar status composing the instantly recognizable theme for Tim Burton's 1989 blockbuster, Batman. Once again, Elfman sets the tone for every scene with his musical cues, enhancing action as well as adding to atmosphere. Elfman's score for Nightbreed is a personal favorite. To tie in with the film's release back in 1990, Epic Comics produced a four-issue adaptation of the film, which included significant differences from the finished movie, more closely related to Clive Barker's original script. The comic book continued to run past the end of the film, ultimately stretching out to 25 issues before its cancellation. The director's cut of Nightbreed, in my opinion, is much better than its theatrical release, especially its narrative. The main characters are more fleshed out, and the film not only works better as a fantasy horror film, but it also works much better as a love story. In the alternative ending used in the director's cut, the Nightbreed await Boone in a barn whilst Boone says his goodbyes to Lori, as he must find a new home for the Nightbreed. Boone promises to return to her, but fearing she will become old while Boone will retain his youth and immortality, Lori stabs herself. Boone resurrects Lori as a Nightbreed, so they can be together forever. Before Nightbreed's release back in 1990, I was already an avid horror fan. Immersed in franchises such as Friday the 13th, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and the Evil Dead series. One day I was captivated by an ad in a comic I'd purchased at my local comic shop. Nightbreed, A Human's Guide to Midian. A gatefold pullout in the middle of my comic with bios for the different monsters. I had already seen Clive Barker's Hellraiser and thoroughly enjoyed it. I was sucked in and couldn't wait to see the film. I managed to see Nightbreed in theaters back in 1990 and have been a fan ever since. And after having seen the long-awaited director's cut, which I signed an online petition in favor of its restoration, I can honestly say I'm an even bigger fan now. If you haven't seen it, I'd highly recommend you check it out. Thanks for letting your geek flag fly with Mad About Superheroes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. You'll come back now! You